Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just cleaned the carburetor. This is very nasty about me to get it going. I'm gonna work on the recoil because it's not recoiling. There are four bolts to remove the recoil. The second one snapped. And after that, I decided to tighten the next two, which kind of frees up the rest a little bit. And then I went to removing those and it worked out pretty well. I lubed everything up. This, this machine has not seen any kind of care the past 10 years I've owned it. So every spool or pull start or whatever has this little piece. So you can wind it up as you see here to tighten it up and bring it all the way around. So we'll wind this up a few more spools and then we'll put it back on. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you keep tension on the clock spring, which is what's inside the recoil. It allows it to pull out and then recoil back into the uh, pull starter. Uh, if you don't, you're gonna unwind it and then you'll be starting at square one, literally like at square one. When you're doing this kind of stuff, it's advisable to actually uh, put a new pull start rope in. I just didn't have that available and it's not too bad. It does start, so hope that helps. There you go. She runs. I've got a better pull start. Hooked up the kill switch, which just grounds the ignition to the uh, frame. I did snap off one bolt, but there's lots of little holes, so I'll add some in later. It works. So you put it on choke by a little bit. Obviously, with the fuel in line, that flows, and that's when you shut it off when it's against the flow. And that's it. Oh, I was hoping to be one start. Comments, concerns, please leave them down below and I'll get back to y'all as soon as I can. Peace.